Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Blake on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, the previous video was pretty eventful. Quite a few things happened. So first things first, we took the movie box back to Angie and she was acting very, very weird, like she wasn't happy to see me or like she was in a bad mood. I was very tempted to refuse to deliver the next movie box, but maybe she was just having a rough day, so I decided to do it. And we took the movie box to, what's his face? Uh, Mr. Mackey. And we gave him Jaws to watch because it was very, very appropriate for a fisherman to watch Jaws. What else did we do? We also delivered a letter to a couple of stoners that were sleeping in an RV in the middle of the woods. We also delivered another letter to who I thought was Yogi Bear because it was in the middle of a forest, but it turns out there's a very weird shack in the middle of the forest. Uh, we also had a chat with Robert and it turns out the reason that he abruptly, abruptly left me at the diner was because he just was used to being on his own, which I can completely relate to. And I think that was about it. But uh, it's now Sunday, we've decided to meet up with Kay so that we can uh, catch up a little bit and relive some uh, memories. And uh, in the evening today, because Sunday is our day off I think, and then in the evening today we've got a miner coming around our house to watch a movie with us. So uh, Meredith is about to be cancelled soon. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into things. Uh, it went straight into Sunday, so I had to end the video in an awkward place. But let's have a chat with uh, Kay. Alright. It's that third step, right? I'm surprised no one's fixed it in all these years. <laughs> so glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? That's gonna make a very nice thumbnail. Thanks for that brief pause. <laughs> <sighs> Brings back memories, doesn't it? Any memory in particular you're thinking of? Those times we took some pie up from the diner after school and sat here talking about whatever we felt like. Oh, yeah. How about that afternoon I snuck in some beers from Uncle Stan and they were really disgusting and you puked all over the rail? In fact, wasn't it kind of where you're standing right now? Oh my gosh, it totally was. Hold up. I seem to remember it was closer to where you're standing. Like exactly where your hands are now. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I kind of missed having you around. I've got to be honest with you, Kai. Your reaction right there, you were like squirming and cringing at the thought of putting your hands in puke. But your face didn't change whatsoever. <laughs> She's a bit like a ventriloquist then, wasn't she? Jesus. That's a bit creepy. So much has happened since then. Maybe. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. Started working for some cockwomble named Steve. Yeah, I think it is time for something different. I don't think you should do the job that you've been doing. It seems like a horrible job. Living in the big city, doing a job like that, sitting in your apartment all the time. Nah, nah, nah. You need to come live back in Providence Oaks. And maybe now it's time for something different. Is it now? Providence Oaks different enough for you? Well, maybe it is and maybe it isn't. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Is this about something? Or someone. God, why, why have I got to be in a relationship? <laughs> Jesus! You're like my flipping nan, you are. Jesus Christ. God, the amount of times my nan says that to me. I will be honest with you, Wolf More Vets. It does piss me off. If you're watching this video, nan, stop it. Stop talking about relationships, right? Leave me alone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lay off. Oh, there she goes with the crazy eyes. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm backing off. Good, good. What about you? How have you been? I mean, really? Really, really? 
it's been great and it's been tough you know I guess it's like that for everyone I mean I wanted to go to art school yes but turns out I wasn't good enough or at least that's what they told me when I applied so I decided to stay and do my own thing make music perform and stuff you know I picked up some shifts at the diner Barry and I reconnected got married and then Max came along you haven't met him yet have you he turns 13 in a few months time flies anyway having Max gave things a different rhythm but I still continued with my music even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland lined up a few interesting gigs tough to balance but fun oh sweet I didn't know you made music and I thought Max was a girl, to be honest. When I came to your house and you were playing astronauts, I swear that was a girl in the background. Mind you, Aiden in Dying Light 2 in the kids section sounds completely like a girl as well. I suppose a lot of boys sound like girls before their balls drop, don't they? I probably sounded like a girl when I was a kid. And I know someone's going to be like, B-Wolf, you still sound like a girl. Well, fuck you. <laughs> Got to get in there before you do. Sounds like you were ready to leave P.O. at that point. Yeah, just like that, Uncle Stan got sick. Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music. But I just couldn't let them down, so I stayed. Helped out nursing Uncle Stan, picked up his shifts at the diner. Nah, you're an absolute legend, Kay. You're an absolute legend. Put your life on hold to look after your family. Well done, well done. Well done, very good job. Where was Barry in all this? Barry was actually really great. We divided tasks back at the house and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. I can't imagine what it must have been like to make that choice. I see where you're going, but honestly, I count myself lucky in a way. It gave me time to assess. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. That's true. That's very true. And what now? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. <laughs> up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. The way things ended up, it may not have been part of my master plan. But I got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there for Mo. He basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own, right here in good old P.O. And one day, those kids will hurl all over this rail, just like we did. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's been tough. But looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. I'm so sorry I wasn't there. I don't want you to feel sorry. We all have our own lives to live, right? I mean, I guess you could have done more to keep in touch. You were really kind of a turd in that respect, I have to tell you. But that's life, right? It's in the past. I'm just glad you're here, right now, looking at the lake with me. It's good to know it's never too late to make new memories. Amen to that. I'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> So, ready to descend to the world below? Yeah, seems like it's time. Come on then. Yeah, we'll get ready for movie night with Laurie. Oh, looks like we're already doing it. Uh oh. Hello? You're speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? Oh my god, Steve, can you piss off? Leave me alone. I'm on holiday. Well, I'm, I'm definitely not on holiday, but I'm supposed to be on holiday. I'm sorry. I'm not interested in telemarketing. Meredith, silly. It's me, Steve. 
please, tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. Add it 87 in shops all across America. M -m 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 monster deal. Just uh, remember, if you want to get the trophy, each time Steve, I think, rings two or three times, and you need to do the task for him every time, and you get a trophy. So if you've uh, if you've decided not to help him, like I've been doing in this playthrough, you won't get the trophy. So just a word of warning: if you want the platinum, you or you or you uh, you're going to have to do another playthrough, or you're going to have to make sure if you ain't started the game yet, you do both tasks for Steve. Otherwise, you won't get the gold trophy. But uh, obviously, I'm not bothered about trophies on this account, so fuck Steve. <laughs> Calm down, Steve. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? They read the pitch. They loved it. And they want to buy 150,000 copies of Added 87. 150,000. Multiply that by, like, 35 bucks. That's a lot of money. I like how I'm just replying very unenthusiastically. <laughs> That's a lot. But it's not a done deal yet, right? Not yet, but oh, oh, so close. I can almost taste it. Listen, I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Could you please check it? I really hope I can depend on you this time. No. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? No. I'll see what I can do, Steve. Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, and I think I like it. Woo! It's official. Oh, I do hate horror movies. You've already watched it. We didn't even get to watch it with you. What was it watching? Oh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, I don't want to watch that. I think I've seen it before. Nah, nah. No thanks. I hate horror movies. <laughs> A Nightmare on Elm Street is radical. It was amazing. Thank you for watching with me, Miss W. All right, now leave before anybody knows I invited you over. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm never going to sleep again. You're welcome. I'm never going to sleep again. Ha, huh, maybe you shouldn't have watched the movie. Man, I wish my parents would let me watch these movies. I can't wait until I move out. Move out? Aren't you 15 years old or something? Almost 16, and yeah. Don't get me wrong, I love tinkering and I love working in my father's shop, but it's just so boring sometimes. I want to see more of the world. I want to meet more people. I'm sure you've noticed, but there's not many teenagers here in Providence Oaks, and I'm homeschooled, so I don't have many friends to hang out with either. Oh, that does suck. But at least you get to work on cars. At least that's fun. But what do you want to do after school then? I don't know. My parents want me to work in dad's shop, but I don't think I want that. And you left when you were younger, so I figured maybe you had some advice for me? Oh, well, maybe. I think... I mean, I left, but I've come back again. Uh, you should really give school a chance. I'll never recommend that to anybody. I think school is the biggest waste of time ever. Uh, working at your father's shop could be great. Maybe you can start traveling out there. I mean, if you want to meet loads of people and see new places, you might as well start traveling. I mean, those other two options are terrible. <laughs> she don't want to work at her father's shop, and I don't care about school, so yeah. Stay in school, kids, just because I don't like it. I mean, you should listen to me. Maybe once you're done with school, you can start traveling. Go out and see the world, like you said you wanted. Meet new people, do new things. Be a free spirit. I think that could be cool too. But I'd have to get my license first. And a car. But I guess I can save up money while I'm working for my dad anyway. And I've always wanted to see the Smithsonian Museum. Oh, oh, or Sequoia National Park in Cali. Sweet. <laughs> Try something local first. Nah, nah, man, go big or go home. See, plenty of stuff just waiting out there for you to come and visit. You have two years left of high school, more than enough time to get your license and save up for a car. You're right, Meredith. Thank you. Also for talking to me and stuff. You're very welcome, Lori. I had a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> me too. I should get home soon. Later, Meredith. Yeah, get Later. out of here. Get out of here before the cops show up. <laughs> oh no, another day of deliveries. 
Oh, Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Hey, Em, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Did I run? Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Did you? Oh, he was the guy. He was talking about saying about postal conduct or something, wasn't he? Didn't know Mr. Incredible worked here. Yeah, I remember. Ah, uh, yes, <coughs> I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office, I would like to ask you a few questions. Oh, no. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Uh, no, uh, no, I'm not. Nobody told me anything. To be honest, no. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. But you do use the personal, the Postal Service for personal gain, innit? Unless he means employees. Oh. Okay, sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here. But I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. No, no. I take them very, very responsibly. I, ain't, I, I don't work for Herms, okay? If you look up the definition of integrity, it has my picture next to it. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Okay. Do you know Frank Coleman? Frank. I see the uh, the bloke I spoke to at the start who helped, who uh, showed me the ropes. The guy that wanted a computer for porn. <laughs> yes. Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him that weren't postmarked? I think we did. Didn't, uh, didn't the farmer give me a letter with no stamp on it? Are we throwing Frank under the bus? <laughs> didn't, doesn't Frank do some gambling as well? Yes. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? Well, I, I am. I mean... I... Yes. Oh, no. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh no. What have we done for- Oh no, I we ain't, I we ain't thrown Frank under the bus. I'm not a grass. What's going to happen to Frank? I'm sorry. We can't discuss personnel matters. Good luck with the mail today, Miss Weiss. You can't ask me a bunch of questions about him and then not tell me why. That's not fair. Oh, oh there's not- There's not many letters to do today. Yeah, look. It's, it's a pretty- It's a pretty easy Monday, this is. Right, I better not talk now because we know when I get in the van we're going to have our early morning update from the bloody uh, farmer guy, the DJ. Top of the morning, P.O. Complaints in Monday mornings, the perfect combo. P.O. Positive or that P. Take it away, Bert. Morning, JR. I'm afraid it's a pet P from me again. People who come camping here outside the season just bugger off already. Loud and clear, Bert, just like today's weather. We're starting the week sunny, but a few clouds will appear closer to the afternoon. Enjoy your day and the music. You know, the uh, the weather is very accurate in this game. If you listen to what he says at the start, uh, like when he gives you the weather update, it actually does come into fruition. Like at the moment, it will get cloudy in the afternoon as we're delivering letters. Normally, I think it does anyway. I might be lying, but I think it does. Because I remember him saying that it rain, it's going to rain and then later in the day it's going to clear up and then it did actually happen, so unless it was just a coincidence. Here's your mail. Yeah, you tell that post box. Like how Mr. Mackey was moaning about campers. I wonder if he was moaning about the, uh, you know, the two in the RV from the previous video, the stoners. I wonder if he was uh, talking about them. Well, I don't even think they're stoners. They're, they're, not only are they stoners, they're also criminals. Because they, uh, they insinuated that they stole the RV that they were uh, sleeping in, so... Yeah. 
man. Meredith's going to end up in prison, isn't she? She's, uh, she's associated with Frank Coleman, who seems to be like a flipping chronic gambler or some shit. Who knows? Uh, she's also invited a minor to her house. What else has she done? She's also uh, spoke to a couple of uh, possible thieves and stoners. Man, Meredith. Meredith, damn. It's been quite the holiday, ain't it? Can I run people over? I think my, oh, my van's got some automatic human detection system on it. As soon as you try to drive over the humans, your car stops. <laughs> your van stops, I should say. Oh, come on, what'd you do that for? Uh... Oh! What? Holy shit! I just found Casper! God damn! Well, they better answer the flipping door when I knock, because we know they're home. We just saw. We saw that they're home. They better not flipping turn me down. Right. Let's see if they're rude or not. Nope. No answer. Oh, but, uh, what a bunch of gears. <laughs> How come she pressed the uh, doorbell right in the middle of the door? What are you doing, Meredith? Well, if your package gets stolen, it's your own bloody fault. Which way do we want to go now? Oh, I've also got to pick up the movie box from uh, Mr. Maggie and going, and then I need to uh, take it back to um, Angie. And maybe Angie will uh, explain herself actually, because uh, in the previous video she was in a bit of a bit of a weird mood. I don't know. She was, I don't know, acting a bit a bit dodgy. See what he thought of uh, Jaws. <laughs> Somebody was talking about in that, uh, talking about Jaws in the comment section recently. I think it might have been Jane. Yeah, Jane comments a lot on my videos. She writes very big comments as well. I have to actually read those ones. <laughs> they're very, very long, but they're always on older videos. So sometimes I completely forgot what I said in the uh, video because it was like five years ago. So sometimes it's very hard to answer those questions <laughs> or reply to those comments. But uh, you're an absolute, if you see this video, Jane, you're an absolute legend. Appreciate the big comments. Hi there, Meredith. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did, I did. It took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Good watch. Shark looked a bit fake, though. <laughs> I'm surprised you managed to find a VCR, considering it was invisible. I saw it in the theater at the time. Pretty exciting. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well, you gotta get it back to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. Oh. It's not invisible anymore. Magic. I don't know if I should drive around the lake to get to those. Where are these other locations? Oops. Oh yeah, we might. Oh, we gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go to the campsite again. I don't know who that. Oh, oh, we gotta go to the motel again. That's where Tom Wolf is, ain't it? The flipping hardcore gamer. That's very, very rude. Oh, I hate that dickhead. I don't want to deliver his package. You know, I'm trying to be a very honourable postal worker, but I'm kind of feeling like maybe I should channel my inner yodel and chuck this uh, next package on the roof. <laughs> Dear and her Herms recently changed their name. Because I think her Herms was exposed, weren't they? They were exposed for... Uh, I should have put this uh, movie box in the back of the truck. It's going to be in my hand when I get out of the van now. Oh, well. But did and Herms get exposed for, like, dumping a load of packages out in the uh, forest somewhere? And uh, there was, like, a big investigation into them treating packages like absolute shit. So uh, they changed their name now so people don't know who they are. So that they uh, have a different reputation. Yeah. And I think they also lowered their prices as well for, like, sending packages with them. 
I've got to be honest with you, Wolf Morbets, I, I know most of you don't like Herms probably, but uh, whenever they've had to deliver packages to me, whenever like, I've ordered stuff and they've chose Herms as their delivery people, um, the, the, the bloke that brings it is a, is a black bloke and he looks exactly, he's like, he's like if, if Stormzy, the rapper, and you know Vidal, Vidal the, the bloke on YouTube, the boxer, the one who, who did the stuff with KSI, he basically looks like a clone of them two. He's got the voice of Stormzy, and he's got like the uh, the uh, hair of Stormzy, but he's got the face of like Vidal. And he always delivers my packages perfectly. Always polite, you know, he's a top bloke. So, I don't know, I guess it's just, depends where you live, but he, he was a top bloke. But whoever, whoever delivered with Herms last time, they delivered my Guardians of the Galaxy, they took it to the wrong address. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. Oh, I'm gonna give this to them. They, they definitely won't give it back, they'll steal it. But I suppose it depends on who's your delivery bloke. This better not be another weed delivery. You're right, June. Hi, sweet Meredith. <laughs> Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. I love that she calls me sweet Meredith. Very nice. On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. <laughs> Did he have too much of the stuff that makes you feel funny? Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. Uh, yeah, that's gotta be Mr. Mackey, innit? Because he was on the radio this morning moaning about campers being here off season. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Mackey, guy, everyone, there's so much drama going on in Providence Oaks in there. It's like an episode of Bloody EastEnders. I have no idea how that happened. Oh, hold on, Mickey's got to read this. Mickey, wake up, honey. Leave me alone, I'm still shit-faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Give me that. <sighs> Looks like we won't be here much longer. Did you grow tired of the lake already? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. Sweet. What about the RV? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two, you know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. Look, I've already done enough criminal stuff in this game. I'm not going to start smoking as well. I don't know if drugs are legal in Oregon, so I, I, you're not going to get me in trouble. But I will come along because a campfire being next to the lake, that is right up my alley. Oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Joan! Awesome! Gotta run. See you Wednesday after sundown. Sweet. Is there anything I'm supposed to be doing after work? No. Gotta uh, do Steve's work, but we all know I'm not doing it. Yeah, I think this video is going to be a bit longer. I need to end it in about three minutes and we've still got a few packages to deliver. Uh, and she's going to have to hopefully explain herself or once again snub me and be weird. And uh, we've also got her, uh, I think actually, yeah, I think Angie might invite me somewhere if I remember correctly. Because I think off camera I turned her down because uh, I was trying to get the trophy after ballsing it up. <laughs> so uh, yeah, maybe I'll do that on camera and see what actually happens. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Oh no, here we go. We've got to deliver the package to Tom Wolf now. Tell you what, Wolf Wolf, it's. At least in this game, Tom Wolf is a hardcore gamer, because Tom Wolf has become a bit of a casual off camera, and uh, I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. I mean, although he has been playing Crash Bandicoot 4 and he's been doing the time trials, and only a hardcore gamer does the time trials in Crash Bandicoot, so 
He's been uh, he's, he's been doing he's been doing better recently, but he has become quite casual over the last couple of months, and I've been very disappointed. Wolf more bets, very disappointed. Can't have one of my best buddies becoming a casual game. I can't can't be having that. <laughs> but the Tom Wolf in this game is a very hardcore game where he doesn't stop playing. Excuse me, what's this all about? <laughs> it's all about the mail. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. Oh, look at this. I'd appreciate it if you'd act like a human being. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Oh, interesting. I work in computers too. Delivering computers does not mean that you work in computers. Playing games also doesn't count as working it. Oh yeah, shazing! Yep, just like playing games also doesn't count as working in computers. Don't you have more computers to deliver? Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, you ain't got to come back for that, have ya? You little snot no shit. Yeah, yeah, piss off. Throw your package on the roof next time. Right, uh, Gamios, I need you to add an update to the game where you have the option of throwing his package on the roof. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't even mind if it makes you get fired and then the credits roll and it could be like a funny, like, you know, alternate ending to the game because there's already a few alternate endings. We can have that as a new option. Meredith throws Tom Wolf's package on the roof or whatever his name is and uh, gets fired from her job. That's the ending. Worth, worth, worthy, worthy ending, if you ask me. Oops. And I would also, I would also appreciate if the touchpad was the uh, the map button, because it's basically the touchpad in every game ever, and it, I always press the wrong button. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'm supposed to end the video now, but we'll we'll go and uh, deliver the last few letters. Speak to Angie. We'll make it a bit longer. Shouldn't be too much of a big deal. Although it's going to stop me recording three videos today, which is a bit of an issue, but, you know, never mind. We'll just record two today, it's all good. By the time you see this video, or maybe shortly after this video, I should finally be starting Kirby. My Kirby playthrough. Kirby and the Forgotten Land, I think it's called. I always forget the name of it. It'll be my first ever Kirby game. Very nice. I thought we didn't have many uh, parcels to deliver today, but yeah, it seems like we did. It seems to have been quite a long day. I think it's just because the parcels have been so far away and the letters. Like I did mention a couple of videos back, I think there is a fast travel in this game. Or I think you can like select a location and Meredith will automatically will drive there on her own and you can just watch, but I, I don't recommend doing either of those. But if you do wanna, you can do it. Sort of like in uh, that game that's... Ooh, interesting. Okay, stop being nosy, Meredith. In the, uh, it, there's another game by Supermassive Games, the people that made Until Dawn, Bravo Team, The Impatient, all of the dark picture anthologies. Um, they're making another horror game that's like, I think it's I think it's like a spiritual successor to Until Dawn, because it's multi-platform. If they made another Until Dawn, it would have to be a PlayStation exclusive, because obviously Sony owns the IP. But um, they're releasing a game called The Quarry, and it's set in the universe of Until Dawn, apparently, if I remember correctly. But there's an option, like a, a movie option or something, where you can just watch the whole game. What a terrible, what a terrible option! The game's basically already like a movie, but at least there's some stuff you can do, walk around and things like that. But why would you, why would you buy it to do that? You might as well just buy a film. <laughs> That's a terrible option. Man, it's a super massive games. That's a terrible idea. Can you platinum it just by watching it? God damn, that'd be the easiest platinum in history. It'd be even easier than Iron Mayo. At least Iron Mayo, you've got to tap the uh, X button like 10,000 times or whatever it is. Give you fun a good workout. 
Now, what a weird game that was, I am Mayo. Like, it's basically a one pound platinum. You buy it to get a platinum. And uh, it was a bit of a meme on the PlayStation forum. So yeah, I, I will be honest, I did buy it and platinum it twice on the Vita and on the PS4. But it was only a quid. And I was in a, I was in a trophy gathering competition with uh, one of my buddies on there called Union. He's way, way ahead of me now. But back then it was me and him constantly battling each other in the uh, trophy club. So uh, having a cheap one pound platinum like that, it was worth it for the war. <laughs> Would I, would I do it nowadays? No way. I think there's an Iron Mayo 2 and a 3. No, I won't buy it. Oops. Left the package in the truck. I always leave the package in the truck when I come back to the film shack. Here's your movie box back. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. You're damn, damn right you do. And stop calling me babe. Yeah, you do. I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And here you are delivering movies for me. You deserve better. Apology accepted. Let's move on. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. Yeah. I suppose that is a reason to be stressed. Ouch. I can imagine that causes quite a bit of stress. I've had kind of a stressful job situation myself recently, so I can definitely relate. Really? How'd you deal with it? <laughs> I came here. <laughs> Change of scenery, huh? Hmm. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. Yeah, so if, if you want to, uh, well, I'm not sure, but I feel like if you pick to do this, then you're not going to be able to review the contract for Steve. So if you're after the trophy uh, with Steve, make sure you turn her down. Man, why do you keep mentioning dates all the time, Meredith? You, you seem a little bit desperate at the moment. It's not a date, right? We're just two mates. If you're going to get with anyone, you're going to get with uh, the bloke, Robert. That's who you're getting with, Meredith, if there is relationships in this game. Wow, pretty cool perk. It is, isn't it? So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? <laughs> I'd love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. Man, I better not. I don't think I want to go now. Sweet. Man, this video is going to end up being. Oh, man, it's already going to be heading towards 40 minutes. If I record for too long, things start going out of sync in the video. I think 40 minutes is like my maximum. After that, it's a problem. Oh, mmm. All right, I'm gonna end the video now, Wolf and Wolfers, because I don't want to risk this video going to pot, because it's been a relatively good video, and I also didn't mess up the intro 50 times. <laughs> so uh, hopefully, when I turn the game back on, we are at this bit right here. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf and Wolfers. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.